Good morning guys, it is Saturday. I was supposed to be in an art contest an hour ago and my alarm never went off. So that's really cool. <laughs> I don't have time to waste. Let's go. I made it. Not on time. Very much not on time. I was really not expecting this day to go this way. I was planning very well. It's not working. <laughs> oh, the lighting's terrible. Oh god, I look terrible. Ah. <laughs> Ellie looks great. We just got here. We're gonna be in this gigantic line that just goes forever for probably like a few hours. Years. Years. I was late, but like there's no consequences because everyone's just waiting in line anyways. And I was supposed to take Ellie here, but nope, my alarm didn't go off, so sorry Ellie, she was stranded. So I had to dig a hole she, she to get here. <laughs> uh, this day is not going as planned. Now I'm waiting in line for the second juror. The first one went well. My time was 9 o'clock, but it's like, what, 11.30 now? A lot of people are waiting. It's real good. We did it! We're done with our interviews. This is a weird art contest because like you go to a school and you do interviews about your art, so it's kind of weird. Now we're leaving to go get food. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I need to stand over in this corner because I feel weird about vlogging in front of people. But we are at a contest. This contest is a little different because you go to a school and like you do interviews about it. Right now we are standing in the gallery with all of the pieces that got top scores. All the like fours. Four is the Four is the best. Four is the best. And then out of all of these, we wait and see which ones go to state. Now we're probably not gonna wait until we find out about state. <laughs> Normally our contests aren't like this, you just like submit something and then like a few weeks later you find out. Yeah, but this is like the big one. So it's, it's a like big one. Serious. It's scholastic. <gasps> we're actually like we've met like a lot of viewers here, which has been really exciting. They're all super nice, so thank you for saying hi. Feel weird now, I'm gonna stop vlogging. I'm not wearing pants. Oops. Oh, there's cat hair all over my mouth. Rocky. He's being really lovey-dovey right now. Woo, woo my hair is crazy. Rocky, you need to say hi. Rocky. You need your wee Your wee wee. I love my Rocky boy. You need to come down. <laughs> I just got back from the art contest and today, well, this year was the very first year that I did not go to state. Although that may sound sad to you guys, I am not sad. <laughs> I've gone to state every single year since I was a freshman. I've gone with five pieces, which I did well, and I can say that I did well, because I know I did well. I worked really hard for that. My senior year, I just didn't really try because I didn't really want to, and I knew that I probably wasn't going to even be able to go to the state competition because I was going to be gone at that time. So I kind of would have felt bad if I would have gone to state with a piece that um, I couldn't even go to state for. And I'm just really happy because a freshman is going to state, which is super fun. I remember my freshman year when I went to state, I was just so shocked and so excited. So I'm really happy for her. And if I'd wanted to go to state, I could have just done a Prismacolor realistic piece. Like that's, that's, that's the name of the game. I just didn't really try this year because I just have so many other things going on. I have this and I have college applications and I have 10 million things going on at my home. So it's okay that I did not go to state. I promise, please do not feel bad for me. It will make me feel bad. <laughs> but one thing that I really was super like 
shocked and excited about was I met so many viewers at the competition. It was insane. It was it was like a meet and greet, honestly. Like so many people just kept coming up to me, kept coming up to me, and it was so, so nice to be able to talk to you guys. And I have never, ever, ever met a mean viewer in my entire life. You guys are always so kind and so genuine and you guys make me laugh because you guys are all nervous even though I'm just this random boy who makes videos in his room. It's just the funniest thing to me and I just love meeting you guys. We actually left the competition to go get food at a restaurant and then the waitress ended up watching my videos as well. It was so funny. All my friends were like freaked out. They were like, geez Conan, I did not know you were that famous. And I was like, I didn't know I was that famous either. I'm not famous guys. I'm not famous. Oh, Rocky's Mimi. <laughs> That was really nice. Thank you for everybody who said hi to me. If you ever see me in public, please don't be scared to say hi to me because I absolutely adore talking to you guys and I love taking pictures with you guys and it's just so fun. Thank you for being there. It's- this is incredible. Thank you. Boo. Good morning. It has been a week since that art contest. I didn't want to vlog throughout the school week just because it was a really busy school week and I really didn't feel like having to worry about vlogging. But yeah, it's been a week and it was a good week. I got all my filming done, like all of my filming for the whole week done on Tuesday or by Tuesday. So I got to like spend time with my friends, which was really fun and like not worry about filming and I went on a four mile hike, I watched a movie, I did a bunch of just like random dumb things that teenagers do and I had a lot of fun. I don't really know what my plan is for today. I just kind of have a little bit of editing left to do, but other than that, I'm basically pretty free. So I'll just text my friends and see what they're doing. I wanna see them cause I love seeing them and I won't be able to see them in a few months, so might as well get it in right now. <laughs> it's a little chilly today, but the past week it's just been cold in the morning and in the afternoon but during the day it's like burning burning hot so i have a very easily changeable outfit today i'm wearing my lacoste shirt look at how cute he is and it's a short sleeve so i can just take this off if it gets too hot outside. I'm also wearing jeans that I've always had. I only have two pairs of pants. I have jeans and black shorts and that's it. Like those are the only two that I wear. I just switch between those two. And I'm wearing my new favorite shoes. They're just the Nikes that I talked about in my favorites video. I'm just gonna head to Starbucks and get all that editing done. That way I don't have to worry about it throughout the rest of the day and I can just spend time with my friends and not feel stressed. Let's go. I just got done editing. Normally after editing, I feel really terrible, but I feel perfectly fine right now. I feel very happy and peppy, which is good. I'm gonna go home for like a quick second to eat, and then I'm gonna go pick up Ellie because we're gonna hang out and do whatever us kids do. <laughs>
Anfang. I'm so glad to be home. Home after a long day. Home after a long day. What? Why not? Yesterday, I felt a fever coming, then I got the fever, and it was really good. Oh my god, my entire body feels like a gigantic bruise. Me holding this camera up is like extreme pain. I also took a nap, which is like unheard of in Conan land. Last time I took a nap was probably when I was like three. It was like four hours long too, which was just bizarre. This is my collection of sick person things. They're really good. I always always do this to myself. I'll just work myself way too hard and then I won't stop until my body literally has to force me to stop by getting sick. And so here I am. I'm resting now, body. You win this time. I'm not gonna vlog. I'm just gonna sleep. I love y'all. Hey guys. So I'm on like day three of having the flu. Wow. <coughs> oh God. Okay. It's been pretty terrible. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. But I have been getting a lot of rest. I've got my two favorite people on earth keeping me company, Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning. So they're being very nice and letting me watch them eat various gross foods. So I really appreciate them. I'm getting a little bit better, but I still feel really terrible. Since it's the flu, I'm probably still gonna have like two or three more days of recovery. I'm trying my best to just relax and chill out. It is day four of me being detrimentally sick. I feel a tiny bit better, like today I could actually walk around, which is good, because the days before I couldn't even get out of bed, I just like, my body hurt way too much. So today I'm able to like walk up and down the stairs to get food, because I'm home alone, so I can grab food for myself, which is nice. Doing a little bit of makeup work here and there to hopefully lessen my load when I go back. <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna get better. I really don't know. I feel really terrible. I made myself pizza toast. It's like toast, but it's like pizza. And it's gluten-free, of course. Gee whizzle, I just got back from a run, so <laughs> I look crazy, but I'm finally no longer sick, which is so nice, so happy. 
Now I can like actually walk around, which is great. <laughs> I'm still coughing a little bit, but I feel great. Thank you for everybody who gave me get well soon wishes. I complained about being sick a lot on Twitter. So if you want more of me complaining, then follow me on Twitter. My username is at ConanXCanon. In the comments below, I'd love to know what you guys did during your week. Like always, I read every single one of the comments and I always love going through the comments before I go to bed and just seeing what you guys are up to. I'm sorry that this vlog was like crazy and all over the place but my life has been crazy and all over the place so that's the explanation i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching my videos it like it means the world and i can't really express it very well i'll see you guys in a few days with a brand new video god bless and goodbye